Never so you can have it You channel it's your boy Glenn boy here and I'm here with a hair video I'm sure you guys can see when you open up this video that something was different about me yes I am wearing some new hair and I want to tell you guys about it so if you're interested in watching so you, you guys say I decided to talk to you guys about this hair I purchased this hair about a week ago I think on a Monday and I made it into a half week as I always do I used a don't spend it's cap and that's pretty much it, and a sewing needle, and I just sewed it onto the dome. Spandex cap, if you guys do not know how to do that, there's plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to do Let's that. Let's start off with who this hair is by, and how much it was, and what's the length, and all that good stuff. So, I have the Autre Duo Batik Caribbean Bundle Hair. Caribbean Bundle Hair. Hair. It looks like this. It came in a pack just like this. Hopefully, it's focusing on the package. It was in the lift 16, 18, 18, and 20. It was a five-piece um, pack. So, one pack is supposed to do your whole head. I use only one pack, but I would suggest that you get two packs if you do decide to get this hair. I would try to get two packs. One pack is full. As you guys can see, this is clearly full. I'm sure you guys probably are looking like it looks a little shorter than a 20. I did go in and chop it just a little bit because of... You didn't get a lot of the 20, so it wasn't a lot to work with. And it was kind of thin and sparse at the end. So I said, why not just go ahead and chop it? And I'll give you guys a 360 in a few minutes. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop the video and show you guys how the hair came. How the... From the clip you've seen all the lengths the 16 to 18 to 18 and the 20. Um, it also came with a lace closure as I said this is what the closure looks like. This is the inside of the closure. This is the hair out straight out the pack right here and this is how it is if you decide to wet it and kind of brush it out there will be no like the curls will not revert back if you decide to brush it out and curl, comb it. Sorry, comb it. I can't talk today. But um, 
yeah I just wanted to try it because I didn't like the closure when I first made the wig I did use the closure and I was just gonna wear it as a flip over as I have it now and I just want to pull out less of my hair but since the closure I don't know what length the closure is because it does not tell you on the packaging whatsoever what it is and I'm sure you guys see in the video that it did not tell me what the length was maybe this is just a 16 too but to me when I was using it on the wig when I first made it it was too short and it kind of was just like if y'all can see that like it's too short up here like I don't know what length this is but I did not like that so I said I have to take this out and I just went ahead and took the whole wig apart and I retook it all out I sewed it in a different way because I was doubling the tracks in the back and I shouldn't have because it was one pack and the tracks are not too thin but they're not that thick as well either so I shouldn't have doubled them so close so I went ahead and remade it spaced them out a little bit more and boom I got the second wig and this is what it looks like um, like I said I did go ahead and chop the 20 up a little bit I also made a few little layers on the side just in the front nothing too much in the back in the back is pretty much how it came because I can't see in the back so who really cares what the back looks like I don't um but yeah I do love this hair this hair was around it was $20 but plus tax is like $21, $22, something like that. And I got it from my local beauty supply store. So I'm sure you guys can find it in your local beauty supply store. If I can, I will have a link down below showing you guys where to purchase this hair if anybody is interested in purchasing this hair because it is some nice hair and it is very affordable. And it looks very nice to be, you know, so you run your cheap. fingers through this hair a lot because it will get bigger and bigger and frizzier. But if you do like your hair big and frizzy like I do, then you won't mind. Like some days I'll rub my hands through this. I have been wearing this wig, you guys, for about three days. Yeah, about three days. And it hasn't gave me any problems. I don't get any matting in the back. Like as you can see, I can rub my fingers still through it if I wanted to because it does not mat in the back. The hair does not really shed that much, but it does kind of shed now since where I've kind of trimmed it and stuff. Maybe because I haven't got like all the trimmed ends and stuff out of it. So I don't know. Also you guys, what I forgot to tell you is somewhere on the packaging, I think when you get it, I don't have it because I took it off. It tells you how to um, care for your extensions or whatever you want to call them your weave your extension your bundle hair whatever you want to call it it tells you how to clean that what water to use and what to use on it and stuff like that in case anybody doesn't know how to do it it says you can wet it with warm water but i wouldn't suggest you do that like i said this is what happened when i wet this right here and it kind of looks like a matte ball so I would say don't do this because it probably will mess up your hair. Even though the hair is just $20, I'm sure you don't want to mess up your style. Unless you just want your hair this big and poofy, you know, by all means, go ahead and do that. But for me, I wouldn't do that. Um, I would say the hair now is probably a 16, maybe 18 inch. Stretched out, it's like down here, like under my chest, kind of at my chest. So yeah, I'm going to do a whole 360 so you guys can see what the back looks like. And I hope you guys are enjoying my new background. It's just my bed for now. I figured the lighting was better here. What do you guys think? The lighting is better in front of my bed. But I can't really have a backdrop here unless I have to build one. So this is... So hopefully you guys seen a good glimpse of the back. Hopefully my camera was in focus. Um, another thing I want to tell you guys about this hair is it is very soft to be so. It's like it's really nice hair to be so cheap. Like at first I had my doubts about it. Like when I first made the wig and I put it on, I was like, "Ugh, what am I gonna do with this? Like it's too tight. It's kind of big, which I like big hair, but it was just like, eh, I don't know what to really do. So be aware of that when you first get it to kind of play with it for a minute and kind of customize it to make it fit your face and what you like because that's what I had to do that's what any wigs you have to get you have to always remind yourself that you have to make it look something that you want it to look like because at first it was just like no 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 I was like I'm not going to review this I wasted $20 I'm not doing it but I do love this hair like I said it's very soft it's very flowy as you guys can see like when the wind hits it it just blows so that is very nice to be $20 of course or twenty some dollars, you know, twenty four, twenty five dollars, something like that. It depends on where you get it, I guess. But I really do love this hair, you guys. I hope you guys 
like this video and you like this hair and I hope you guys go out and purchase it if you do let me know how you like it because I really do like it like I said there isn't any tangling there isn't any shedding and I have wore this week about three to four days and I've not had any problems with it. like I said try to keep your hands out of it because it will make it bigger and it will make it more frizzier which mine is a little frizzy and bigger because I have played with it I have combed it and that's just because that's the style that I like. I just like this video and I love you guys and I will see you later.